Okay, so one of the most frequently asked questions on this channel, or the main reason why people come to this channel, is either truly hair videos, which I only have a few out, um, home decor, and then recently the most popular is my nursing because I put up that video about the tease test, so this is going to be about that. I don't know, maybe people are just looking for a lot of information on it, and I've gotten a few questions quite recently in my inbox about it, and I'm just really bad about responding to comments right now. I think because I sit in front of a computer all day, and I am really just like... When I come home, I don't feel like typing another word. So it's easier for me just to sit down and make a video about it. So, okay, what city am I in? I'm in Houston. What school um, was I pursuing my nursing at? That would be HCC um, at Coleman, which is like the medical center. It is out there at the medical center. So currently, traffic in Houston is crazy. And I tried my last semester, I had to go take one last test for my pharmacology class. And it took me over an hour and 25 minutes just to get out there. So that was kind of discouraging. Am I going to pursue the nursing program? Yes. I feel that I have put in way too much work for me not to pursue it. So I passed my T's, I've taken my anatomies and all the sciences that I need for that particular school. And I even passed pharmacology, which is a hurdle class. Am I officially in the nursing program? Yes. The school was actually kind of upset with me because let me tell you what ended up happening was that everything happened all at once. I remember when we were taking our tests, one of our first pharmacology tests, somebody was like, look around, this is going to be our nursing class. It's like, no, it's not. Most of these people are not going to make it through um, this class or make it into the program on schedule. I had no idea that I was going to be one of those people. So right around the time when they had finally accepted me, when they went through everything, I had already gotten my new job. And there was like a one day orientation that you have to go into to get like everything officially done just for nursing. And um I just, there's a lot of other things you have to do before you're actually in the program, like get your fingerprints done and submitted to the federal um, government through like a national database, which is so weird because I actually had to have that done for the job that I'm currently working. I just didn't have time to dedicate it um, for the nursing program. So you have to have fingerprints, which is like a background check, a drug screen. And then one of the major things is your titers, which is making sure that you have all of your shots up to date. Now, I had no idea that some of the shots that you take um, wear off and you build up, like the immunity is no longer there. Like that shot has worn off and you may have to get it redone so what are my plans for the future because i still have to do the um, national background check for nursing i have to get that done and i also need to get my blood tested to make sure i know i have all my shots and everything like that but i want to be sure that the titers are still in my system and i have to submit that to the school and then I just have to let them know that I plan on entering into the fall. The good thing about the community college, it is a community college, Houston Community College, HCC for short, is that they offer a night program. It's a night and weekend program. I already have a degree and I have completed all of the classes that I need to for this lockstep program. It is a lockstep, so you can only take the preset classes as they are preset, like you can't bounce around or choose how you're gonna combine your schedule. The classes are, are already combined, but be, with all of my credits that I've previously taken, the maximum amount of courses that I would take in any semester is three, Most and that's like the last semester. Most of my semesters, I would only be taking two classes at a time. So, I mean, and then they do offer um, clinical rotations on the weekends, such as Saturday and Sunday. In a way, it does make me feel kind of weird about doing it, like being like a night school nurse, but for me, it will work out with my schedule, and I just feel that I put in way too much work for me not to go ahead and pursue that avenue. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, things did come up in my life on my way to my nursing journey, and mine is definitely going to be non-traditional because I am going to continue to work a full-time job <laughs> to be able to maintain maintain my lifestyle because that's very important to me but because of the way that i have taken classes in the past i only have to take two classes most semesters and then three classes that final semester and the school offers weekend um clinicals 
and it, they do offer a nighttime program for working professionals. So I feel like I covered a lot of ground. My real life did come up in it. Um, is it demotivating? At the time, I was a little like bummed out, but my job that I currently work work on offered so much opportunity that I could not pass it up. And I don't know, I. I could have just went straight through and t taken the day classes, but I would still only be taking like two to three classes at a time. And for me, my personal life was more important. And that happens like the older you get. So if you are a younger person watching this video, my best advice to you is to go through school straight through while you're young. Because the older you get, comfort becomes more important. Life affects you a lot more <laughs> than it previously had. Things become more serious to you and the decisions that you make just become more weighted because you have all of these additional goals and dreams that you might want to hit by a certain age. So yeah, that's my little advice for younger people is just to make sure uh, to get in school and go straight through or to be aware of what you really want to do and, and make that your goal and your priority with the mindset of balancing and fitting in just living to the standard that you desire to live. So I hope that everything was clear and concise and this video is not long. It's pretty good. Thank you. If you're on your nursing journey, put it down below. Let me know where you are in your process. And if you have a YouTube channel dedicated to your nursing journey, let me know because I do like to check in on those and see what people are doing. It does make me kind of sad that I'm not like wearing scrubs or, you know, <laughs> like almost through the program. But hey, one day because, you know, that's the one thing about when you start something as involved as a nursing journey or going to nursing school, it doesn't happen overnight, but it's also okay if you take breaks as long as you're hitting everything you need to hit. I was able to make A's like straight through. I got one B in psychology because I got bored. And then in my pharmacology because I had taken on a new job, I should have made an A in that class, but I ended up with a C because of my um, just not just kind of like dishing the class at the end, but I had made A's like solid all the way through that there was no way for me to fill that class. So yeah, um, that's it. I'm not going to keep you girls or guys a second longer. And that's my nursing update. Thanks.